So in this video, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to um, basically annotate into your graphs. Some of you guys are preparing graphs for chemistry, and you have the graph presented or set up. Uh, most of that's pretty straightforward on Excel or Sheets. But then maybe you need to do what they call an annotation, where you're putting uh, maybe a little pointer, or you want to highlight a piece of the graph with an, an inserted drawing piece, like to put an arrow or to to outline a piece on there. So I'd like to show you how to do that in both Excel and Sheets and show you how to then get that annotated graph onto your document. So here we go. This is an example where we basically titrated uh, sodium hydroxide, looks like onto some acid, and we're looking at the resulting pH. Of course, I always want to remind you that if you're um, getting a, um, a graph together for chemistry, you want to make sure you um, put the proper titles on there. So we're in Excel right now. I'll just go ahead and show you how that all works. It's it's always good to have that in place. So <clears throat> there's my primary axis or my uh, y-axis and it looks like this is pH and these are unitless dimensions. That's a title. I need to in make sure I insert um, um, units along with that unless it's something like percent or pH or a K constant which actually is unitless or absorbance but there's a few of those in in chemistry okay now what I want to do is put my horizontal axis on there don't want to forget that one too this this one is a good example um, where I'm putting in the volume of sodium hydroxide where I'm putting in the volume of sodium hydroxide and in that case I'm going to have to um, put the units to be proper so here we go and that is in milliliters and now that's looking like a proper graph and so this particular graph is ready to go, but may, maybe the assignment that, um, that I have going is that I want you to point out the equivalence point. Um, so it, f for this particular lab, they were basically taking this, this point of inflection up high and the point of inflection down low and finding halfway in between. And that was just uh, kind of a rudimentary calculation. There was nothing super scientific about how you found that. It's just your best guess where between these two lines is and see where that fits. But my point now is that I'd just like to show you how to put in a um, an annotation. So now um, on this particular when you're in Excel we're going to insert whoop, there we go mm. So now we're back in Excel and we're um, wanting to insert. So sometimes it doesn't show up, but what you're wanting to do is insert a, a drawing. And uh, sometimes that's hiding from you uh, in Excel. Um, I'll show you where that's sitting. See illustrations, pull that down. There's the shapes. That's what I was looking for. So I'm going to pull that down. I want to insert an uh, arrow. And draw that little arrow in. I'm just, again, guesstimating. I uh, think that equivalence point is sitting right there. Um, since I'm in the neighborhood, I'm going to make that a little bit uh, darker. So you can format the shape. Um, pick the color so it just shows, pops a little more on your graph. There you go. So that's what, what I want right there. And then the other thing I want to do here is I want to insert a little bit of a text box where I say, all right, this is my equivalence point. There you go. And if you want, you can even right that looks good 
And that's so there's a proper annotation. That's ready to go. So I'm going to save this thing. File, save. So now my graph is like I like it. And now I'm going to go out and uh, do the same thing. Just going to build the graph out on my um, um, sheets. So I'm just to show you a similar thing. Just to show you where I'm at, I'm back in Sheets. I'm on on uh, Google. I'm, I'm looking underneath my Sheets, and here's the similar data. It's going to build a similar graph. The only difference is the other one started at one uh, mil of sodium hydroxide. This is starting at five, just so I can discriminate between the two. So a similar process. Um, only this sheet has not been built yet. So we're gonna gonna build this sheet real quick. Insert. Um, looks like we call it chart in sheets. Here it comes. Get him a little more pretty here. Um, we tend to do um, scatter graphs in science. We don't assume that the lines are connected, so you can actually see the points. And then if it's a linear line, we might, uh, you know, improve that. This one turned out great. It had the volume of sodium hydroxide. It had the pH. Everything was looking pretty good. Um, we probably want to make sure we include our units here. All right. So now in um, sheets, there are ways to annotate, but the problem is, is that isn't lends itself very good to um, um, showing up on my document. So I'm going to just save this as is and I'll show you the different ways you can annotate and see how this works for you. So now we're ready. We've got our two graphs. I'm going to try and put this sheets graph into the document and I'm also going to try and put the Excel graph into the document and make sure we get annotations on there. But for right now everything I got about this um, graph is right where I need it except just for grins and you can do this different ways. You can See if you can get a corner, or you can um, arrow over and just face that end of where it looks a little more centered. That's not the best technique, apparently. Uh, how about this? There we go. Pretty good. All right, so we're off to the races. So we're going to go over here to our documents. The nice thing about um, Sheets is it automatically saves. So now I'm going to go out to my document. There we go. So here's my practice document. And remember, everything you title in here, make sure it makes sense to whoever's receiving this through the email. Um, you know, if it's a pre-lab, you name it as such. If it's a, a post-lab, you name it as such. Um, it's always good to put names and, and exact uh, titles and numbers. But anyway, so here we go. Again, this is just a little example. Our idea is now we want to insert a graph. So, um, as far as uh, inserting our Excel graph, the, the best way that I have found is actually to have your sheet open and then I also have Excel open at the same time. And I'm going to go over here to Excel. I'm going to make a point. It's a little tricky in here. This is where you sometimes get into trouble. I'll get this out of the way. But the, the idea is that I want to capture all three of these, the equivalence point, the arrow, these two annotations, and the graph itself. So usually when you when you kind of scroll over, you can see when you're actually getting a hold of the part you're trying to get a hold of, which I got there. 
Now I want to select that arrow as well, and that's where I'm going to have trouble. If I select it, I'll unselect the equivalence point. So I hold down my shift or my control button. That'll allow me to, to get separate things selected. And then the third part I want is the actual graph itself. So I'm going to get out here on the side. I'm going to get the chart. At this point, it looks like I've got all three. I'm going to now go up here and say control copy. And that should put it on the uh, <clears throat> the clipboard. I'm going back over to my um, video doc sheet. And now I'm going to say paste. It's going to ask me if it wants to access my clipboard. And I say yes, I'm going to allow access. Give it a minute. So now my Excel sheet just came down with my annotations in place. And again, the key, and it's a subtle thing um, when you're working with Excel, is that if you just clip the um, graph and you don't grab these two annotations with it, again, you have to push Control while you're trying to select. But if you just select the graph, and, and quite often when you get to the other side, I'm going to get onto this sheet again, go a few lines down, and now I'm going to say paste. That's where you lose your annotation. And that's a problem. Now, if you're doing that, I don't uh, necessarily recommend that, but I'm about to use the same technique with Sheets. Um, sheets is really bad about bringing annotations over also. It is proper um, in a pinch that you could get uh, a line below when you have something on your sheet. Let's get in here. There we go. And when you're titling your graph, um, of uh, strong acid, which by the way, that title is not very good that I have on here. It's a bad example. I should have said what I'm um, titrating the strong acid with the strong base or whatever. Um, here's where I could actually put uh, handwritten annotations and say uh, the buffer zone or the equivalence point point is at approximately six milliliters Basically, I just outline uh, by words where I want my annotations actually on the graph. And that's uh, not as good. I mean, I, I think this is a little better presentation up here in this example. But, you know, sometimes you got to work with what you got to work with. Um, so now let's go try and do the same thing with sheets. So again... We're going to pull down a sheet. Again, this is not Excel. This is um, Google Sheets. It's kind of the... Um, and I've named this video sheet in relation to building this video for you guys to, and ladies to help you out a little bit. So here we go. We're ready to graph this thing. Is easy enough. Now, um, be, this is kind of nice. Once you've built the sheet, uh, I don't try and do annotations here. I go right back out to my. Um, so, so we know everything's in place. Here's the graph I want to use. Um, and for example, if this is probably a good chance for me to clean it up a little bit. Let's see here. Um, this would probably be a Yeah, there you go. That might be a more proper title for what we're trying to do in class. Again, this is a little bit wanky, but you can um, 
And different ways you can do this. Here's another option. Maybe just center it that way. See how that works. And I'm gonna try that that way. Didn't take it. It was a thought. Not my favorite, but that'll work. All right, so now I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go import this sheet into my um, Google Doc. All right, so I jump back out. Different ways you can do that. Different ways you can move your around within the Google document family. Um, Let's see. <clears throat> Here we go. So I'm back to my video document. Now we're going to do the third edition. So these are two imported Excel sheets we have so far. Now what I want to do is show you how to import a uh, Google Sheet into here. So we're going to say insert um, chart. So Google, the whole suite is uh, kind of built to work off each other. So it definitely has a, a selection here from Sheets. And once you do that, it goes to the, your, the sheet you just created, and you say, well, there's my guy right there, the video sheets Dr. T. I'm going to select that guy. It's going to come back at you and say, is this the graph you're looking for? You have to select the graph, and then you're going to import it. Okay, so now that is titled. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what you can do. Um... This is a little tricky, but sometimes it works. You can do, um, so again, I'm just going to reorient you. I'm, I'm back on Docs. I'm now saying Insert. I'm going to go to a drawing. All right, I'm going to go a new drawing. And see, here's where I've got some my lines up here. I'm going to take an arrow drawing. Get that situated. I'm going to put some text in there. All right. This works a little better. Kind of not too bad. All right, so now save and close. Now watch what happens when I save and close it. Remember I had my, my drawing, and see now that little drawing just popped down on the, um, onto the dock. Now what I'd like to do is just grab it and draw and just drag it up o over the um, graph, but that's going to be a problem, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's see if we can get a handle on it here. There we go. So I'm going to kind of try and drag it there. And no, notice what happens when, when I start doing that. You're like, oh my gosh, this thing's just bouncing around. The graphs go in one place. The little annotations go in the other place. I'm going to show you the trick to that. Start by um, selecting your graph and tell it you want to wrap text. What that generally means, so when you see in line, that just means the text itself or the uh, graph itself becomes like a line of text. So anytime I'm typing above it or putting things above it, it just automatically moves. Or you could break text. None of those will help. What I want to do is wrap text. So I'm going to wrap text there. And then I'm going to take my shape and I'm going to also say wrap text on it. And that is the best um, format. Um, <clears throat> got a little wanky there. Let's see, if, see what we can do. Here, let's see. Give myself an extra page. If 
That was just a really strange occurrence that just happened, but I'm going to get my graph. I'm going to drag it back down on this second page so we can work down here. Let's see if I can find my annotation that I just went to all the trouble of building. Let's see here. I don't know where it's hiding at. We're going to get it. But this is good. It's instructive because I it it it's not trivial. This stuff is uh, it's kind of uh, hard to work with. So we're going to try this one more time. I'm going to try and insert that um, graph or, or um, insert the drawing one more time. That's good. that it wasn't really flat anyway the first time. Still not the greatest. Here we go. Equivalence point. I like that. A little too much stuff. Perfect. Close enough. All right, so now this is save and close. Try this one more time. That's wrap text. Wrap text. Now, let's see. There's what you're after. Now I've wrapped text. Um, this is a great... Um, okay, so you've now um, put an annotation on, and that will work. And again, the uh, plan B option is you are also welcome to type underneath. Um, the other thing I would tell you guys is that uh, whatever, um, whatever graphs you insert here, they came from data, and sometimes you need to make sure that you show some of the data that you made the graph, maybe all of it or some of it. Um, one of the things I really stress, if it's a small little data table, I usually put it into the text. But if it's a, you know, a lot of times you've gotten data that was collected with an instrument, so there's miles and miles of data. So the other part I would uh, want to teach you is that, you know, you have to put a link in this document back to that actual Excel graph. And uh, I'm going to show you um, how you do that. The easy one, um, we'll see is to probably put the link back to the actual sheet. So I'm going to put my uh, a link. And I probably would, you know, to be fair, Go and that way, if somebody wants to actually look at your data, they can put a link in there. So here's what we're going to do we are going to go back out. So here's that, that's where we're going to work. We're going to go back out to the Google Doc or to the Google Sheet where this was made from. This is the guy. So we're going to go. That's the video sheet. That was my 
my guy. Okay, let's open him up. All right, so now that you're in the, um, you're back inside the uh, Google Sheet, what you want to do is go up to Share, and when that occurs, see here, come on, try it one more time, see if it's, there it goes. All right, um, for one thing, you want to go ahead and share that out to whoever you want to um, put the link with. So I'm going to go ahead and put whoever's in there that I'm trying to share with, and that's probably going to be me. And so that's done. And then I'm going to do the same thing again, only right now I'm going to get up here and see see how it says get a shareable link. I'm going to um, con connect there. And link sharing is on, there we go. And when that happens, this get, can be highlighted. I can cut control copy. Then I can move from there. I'm done here. I'm going back to my sheets. So remember, I control copied, so it's on my clipboard. Going back to my document. There's my document, which would be what your final lab is probably under, under a document. You get down here, roll down the page a little bit. The following is where I want to put the link. And right here I can go paste, allow access to my clipboard, and there's my link. Now, this would be great. Um, let's go up and do one of these Excel sheets and say the following Excel sheet. How about the data? That's what we want to say, the data for the following Excel sheet can be found at the following link. Now, I just want to uh, caution you guys, if you're in my class, taking my class, I expect you to put these links in so that I can check the data, but I also want you to put just a few lines of the data table in there as well. I'm not going through that right now, that's not my point, but when you turn in the um, the, the lab write-ups, I'd like to see a few lines of the data table um, just so I can see how you set them up. And then, in addition to that, put this link in in case I need to get on there and actually um, follow up with, uh, you know, see exactly where you got a graph built from. But right now, we're going to basically go out to the um, um, spreadsheet and... and uh, or what we want to do is make a link to the spreadsheet. Now this can be a problem when you're in Excel because this Excel is something that's on your computer at home and it's not um, necessarily possible to link that to me. So what you've got to do is get that Excel sheet onto your Google Doc. So let's go through that process so we know what we're doing. All right, so we're going to go back out. So this is the path I choose. I think some other students, uh, and as soon as you see this box, you can kind of move that way to get, get to where I'm going. Um, but once you get here, pull that down, go to the Google Drive. All right. This looks good. What I would like to do is... Um,
So when I pull down my drive, I'm going to upload files. And I'm going to go down here. And um, so I get on my PC, and now you're going to be, now I'm back on my PC. I can look around and find it. My particular deal was on my desktop. There it is, Video Excel for Dr. T. Open. So it's uploading the I the item. Starting upload. See if there's a problem. I had it open on my desktop, but we'll see how this works. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just cancel out of that for a second. Close it. I'm going to make sure that I turn off the Excel sheet. That's all been done. File, save. All right, so that's all updated. Turn that thing off. Now we're going to try that again. Sometimes it just goes a little better if you don't have it open on your desktop at the time you're trying to upload it. So here we go. Open. See how quick that went? That probably was the problem. So video Excel, Dr. T. There it is. Perfect. So now, <clears throat> I can share that. See how the process, I basically tried to open it. Now I have a couple options there, by the way, but I'm going to just show you this um, same process, get my shareable link, control copy, uh, make sure I um, share there to whoever I'm sharing with, send. So remember, I shared it, but I also took that um, link up there. I'm gonna, I'll just show you how I did that again, just to make sure you're um, clear what I'm doing here. I'm sharing. I make sure that I put that email in there and say done and send it, but I also make sure I get this um, shareable link, and then I control copy that so it's on my desktop. I'm done here. I'm going back to my... Um, Documents. There's my video docs that I've been working on. Gives it a minute to get all loaded up. Remember that we've now put that little link, We're trying to put it right below the next line down. Right. Hold on a second. And hold a second. So it looks like I've disengaged from my Excel on my document and that happens from time to time as you know so let's get back out here Google Docs do here go back here tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn this off again whoa I'm going to close this and we'll try and reopen it just real quick. Okay. Video docs with Dr. T. Let's see if it'll get a live feed here. Mm hmm.
now we're going to paste in that link allow and there's my Google Drive link so this is what we're looking at to basically um, the process by which you can get these um, graphs the links um, the annotations all into your um, document so I hope this helps and work hard this is Dr. Thompson